Hello my friends, welcome, today I am going to talk about Sylvester Stallone and the physical toll he took by making movies. It is very well known that he got injured multiple times during shooting, so I would like to investigate a little more. There were a few complications when Jackie Stallone was giving birth to Sylvester and obstetricians were forced to use forceps to help with the delivery. Unfortunately they didn't use them correctly and a nerve was severed, leaving the lower left side of his face paralyzed. This accident is also what caused his slurred speech. Look. See? Nothing that bends like that. See, I originally done it. Look, push the button. Bong. It works. Got it? When shooting this scene in the meat locker, when he punches the slabs of beef, Sly ultimately punched the meat so hard for so long that he flattened out his knuckles. To this day, when he makes a fist, his knuckles are completely level. You're breaking the ribs. During his famous jog through the streets of Philadelphia, Stallone pulled a tendon in his leg and was taken to a nearby hospital in a wheelbarrow. Sylvester and Carl Weathers suffered injuries during the shooting of the final fight, Stallone suffered bruised ribs, and Weathers suffered a damaged nose, the opposite injuries of what their characters had. Oh, Adrian, you better go home because I'm going to be busy healing here for a while, you know? No, I'll be here. No, maybe you better go home with Paulie and get some sleep. Wait a minute, get some sleep, you know? Stallone's Rocky II workout utilized two-time Mr. Olympia champion, Franco Colombo, as his personal trainer. He would go on to use Franco as his trainer throughout the Rocky and Rambo movies. Franco worked out a program that was right for him, and then he led the way, constantly increasing weights and reps. During final days of preparation, they got into bench pressing contest, lifting 360 up to 400 pounds when the weight fell and tore his right pectoral muscle. This was shortly before the fight scene was to be filmed, and ultimately, the scene was shot with Stallone still badly injured. A long time ago, I was uh, training with Franco Colombo, who is Mr. Universe, for Rocky II, and we got into this bench pressing contest. Not my idea, his. And, um, I tore my entire pec off. It was very, very severe. So they sewed it back together, big 60 inch scar, I mean 60 stitch scar, but they did it in a twisted way, so it didn't show. Unload him, Johnny. Stallone started soccer training on weekends off during the filming of Nighthawks. He received training from England's World Cup winning goalkeeper, Gordon Banks. Initially, he paid little attention to Banks' advice as he didn't think the training was necessary and recklessly threw himself around on the first day of filming the match. Eventually, he hit the ground so hard that he dislocated a shoulder and broke one of his ribs, putting him out of action for several days. When he returned, he paid much more attention to what Banks was telling him but still sustained several minor injuries over the course of filming. He also broke one of his fingers, trying to stop Pele from scoring a goal. After production was finished, Stallone commented that the experience had been as hard as fighting in the Rocky movies. Uh, you're in trouble. <laughs> Hulk Hogan was drafted in for an exhibition scene where Rocky fights a wrestling star for charity. Stallone later commented, I remember a violent move where he threw me into the corner, charged across the ring like an enraged bull. He leaped so amazingly high above me that his shin bone came down like a giant tree on my collarbone. I tumbled to the floor, but I was afraid to look at my shoulder for about 10 minutes. I said, 
don't roll me over, don't move me, because I was sure there was bone protruding through my upper chest. Of course, there wasn't. But I have never felt such a mind-numbing pain from a massive hit before or since that day. The fire hose that Rambo was sprayed with was so powerful that it knocked all of his prosthetic scars from his body and a full two hours had to be spent reapplying them. You just do what I tell you. He also sustained serious injury to his back after filming 19 takes of this scene in which his character is clubbed with a nightstick in jail. He also accidentally broke the nose of Alf Humphreys during the jail escape scene by elbowing him in the face, which is why he is seen wearing a band-aid throughout the rest of the film. Stallone broke several ribs after filming three takes of this scene, in which his character jumps off a cliff and uses a tree to break his fall. He remarks on the DVD commentary that it was easy to play the landing when Rambo screams in pain since he was not acting and was really in pain. For this scene, where Rambo first runs into the abandoned mine shaft to elude the guardsmen firing at him, he places his hand on top of a piece of wood, not realizing that his hand was right on top of a gunfire squip that went off a second later, injuring his hand in the process. Stallone mentions that the pain he felt was so intense, he was afraid to look at his hand, fearing the squib had completely blown his thumb off. He also constantly fought hypothermia, as temperatures dropped well below zero on most days. Winter in Canada is a tough place to survive, even for John Rambo. I must break you. In Rocky IV, Dolph Lundgren played the towering, ripped Ivan Drago. Stallone decided that for the shooting of the final fight, he and Dolph Lundgren should hit one another for real so as to increase the intensity of the scene. After doing three takes of Rocky taking shots to ribs, Stallone felt a burning in his chest but ignored it. Later that night, he had difficulty breathing and was taken to a nearby emergency room. It was discovered that his blood pressure was over 200 and he had to be flown on a low-altitude flight from Canada to St. John's Hospital in Santa Monica, where he remained in intensive care for four days. What had happened was that Lundgren had punched him so hard in the chest, Stallone's heart had slammed up against his breastbone and began to swell, cutting off the blood supply and restricting the oxygen flow throughout the body. Stop Lundgren from the hospital for nine days. Nine days. That was Rocky III. Yeah. I was nine. I knew I was in trouble when I showed up and none met you. It was an uppercut, caught the ribs, which hit the, the heart against the rib cage, and it's a thing called a pericardial sac. He said, you usually get this in head-on collisions. I said, well, close. Wow. I did hit a bus of sorts. No, look, all I did was obey orders. Yeah. He was the boss. <laughs> I did what he told me. But um, yeah, we finished shooting in Vancouver. Uh, we shot the Russian stuff, and I came back to LA, and everybody's uh, my producer. The producer's like, "Hey, Dolph, you got two weeks off." Yeah. Like, oh, nice. <laughs> On the first day of shooting, Sylvester tore part of his quadriceps running through the jungle. In a text. Excuse me. Get out! you give me the wrong answer you... Sylvester Stallone sustained 14 injuries making this movie including breaking a tooth rupturing his ankle dislocating both shoulders and getting a hairline fracture in his neck vertebrae Stallone commented on this man it was seven guys kicking each other's ass one guy tougher than the next no joke our stunt guys were begging for mercy 
Actually, my fight with Stone Cold Steve Austin was so vicious that I ended up getting a hairline fracture in my neck. I'm not joking. I haven't told anyone this, but I had to have a very serious operation afterwards. I now have a metal plate in my neck. He also had bronchitis and shingles during the shoot. Stallone got the first injury jumping off a ladder, so he warned his pal to take care, prompting Schwarzenegger to decide to warm up first, but he then suffered the same ailment doing his stretching exercises. The Terminator star tells Live Magazine, Sly pulled his calf. He said to me, be careful jumping down from that ladder. I said, thanks for telling me, I'm going to warm up first. So the next morning I'm warming up, and I pull my calf muscle. So now we're both injured, and the doctor comes and has to give us both cortison shots. It would never have happened 20 years ago. We were like two idiots standing there. It was pitiful. But the worst was yet to come, during undisclosed action sequence his perennial tendon ruptured. In an interview he said, I just got this one, 70 new stitches. It's a little memento. I've had both shoulders done, my neck done, two back operations, Achilles tendon and now this thing, the perennial tendon, just ruptured. This is the worst fucking one ever. I feel like an old athlete. Every time you touch something, it breaks. He then also tore his bicep. The doctors suggested an operation, but Stallone replied, no, forget it, I don't care. I'm not going through any more operations. Besides, there's a tattoo of my wife there that I want to keep. As he filmed action scenes for the third installment of The Expendables, Stallone sustained a back injury, a back blast, which needed surgery. He said, I grade the quality of a film by the intensity of the injuries. When I shot stop, or my mom will shoot, I never got hurt. Through Rambo and The Expendables, I break my neck and my spine, and I dislocate both shoulders. In this one here, I end up really taking a fall on my back and had some metal put in there, so if you hear any squeaking, it's not my shoes, but my back. But I'm getting better. Sylvester Stallone has insisted that being injured on the set of a film is a good omen. He achieved his success because he always believed in himself and his vision. He never gave up and kept trying and trying until he made it. For me, he is one of the best demonstrations of how persistence can overcome all manner of obstacles with impossible odds. Ah. 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 Ah.